So I need to raise money in order to save my ass from these state taxes out of nowhere that came up out of nowhere. So people come out, we're supportive of Phil, let's cheer, let's up, let's tip, they do it, great. Now I'll get past the state taxes, but now federal tax, oh, now you owe more because you made more money. Keemstar joined duty and for about 30 minutes put his balls on the coals and basically said, literally your content is in violation not only of the law because you're putting completely unedited giant long clips of people's content on your channel without any commentary or criticism oh yeah content id content id content id alert but also it violates youtube's turn to service i did try to join the chat of duty's live stream and immediately his mods timed me out permanently i can't talk in his chat he actually got them timing out permanently banned 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 gone and so i couldn't respond because he was actually saying on his chat, uh, in his stream oh i need dsp to respond i need dsp to respond his mods timed me out so i couldn't respond so i said fuck it i'll just go on my own stream now so ladies and gentlemen today on this very show i will give my final edict the king's edict on duty it, 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 here's what's been going on three years he's been clipping my content three years he's been commentating very negatively on me insane amounts of you know over the top hatred towards me it's not just oh phil stream suck it's phil stream suck he lies to his audience he spends all his money on this his wife is fat and ugly he does this and this and this the horrible things you know okay you don't like me got it you think i'm a scammer got it you think i'm a scumbag got it you think i'm the worst gamer on the planet got it all right this is systematic bullying. It shouldn't be allowed on YouTube, and it certainly shouldn't be allowed to be monetized. This guy got called out, not just by me, by the way, by others as well. Kino Casino has had issue with him. Even Keemstar has issue with him. And so over the last couple of days, after this guy basically being so awful to me for years, I've called him out on this channel. Just check the, the highlight, the stream highlights on this channel. I just have a, I have a clip from yesterday's show where I show you he literally plays like a 20 plus minute clip unedited from my stream. And all he has on the top of the screen is, oh, it's something about duty streams. I don't like duty streams or else you've robbed someone of their content. You've stolen. You're a thief. Not only is that against the law, it's also against YouTube terms of service. So I have all of this evidence and everything. All right. <clears throat> Seriously, I, you know, and he can't take it. Basically, what's happening is the guy's falling apart every day. And what's sad is that he has this army of people who like endlessly and mindlessly follow him because they're probably of the like mind. I don't even know like what else to say. Now you have to understand, I heard all this secondhand because I wasn't listening live. I, you know, I was asleep and I woke up, I was doing all my morning shit. And then someone messaged me and said, this all just went down on duty stream. Right? Subscribe, donate, or get the fuck out. I mean, out. It, again, I don't know why I have to say it again, but like a clip is like five minutes if it has to be five minutes. Uh. A normal clip is like a minute long. Yeah. You play the clip, you react to the clip, then maybe you play another clip, you react to the yes, clip. I'm you know, you, everyone understands what comment. So I have to, what I'm going to do, I'm going to present to you guys in the chat what I was told happened. And if you guys confirm it, then I'll, I'll continue. But if I say this in the chat and you guys are like, no, that didn't happen, then I'm not going to continue because this is all se se secondhand shit. I'm not the kind of guy that's going to come out and say this happened and this happened and this happened when I haven't heard it for myself because I was a human who had a life and wasn't sitting there listening to his fucking stream. You understand? Error, error, error. You guys didn't know I'm an android? Someone tipped the dollar and says, Duty wasn't having a breakdown. He talked about saying detractors that anyone can clip your content. That's not even what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what happened before that. The, the stream didn't go live with him saying, oh, I have permission to clip whatever Phil wants. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about what happened before all of that where he exposed all this personal information about himself to the internet that he never should have done that. But apparently he was so afraid that the internet was going to find and expose him that he just self-exposed himself. And I'm going to be I'm going to be saying this publicly to you guys, all right? Cuz I want to confirm that what someone told me is correct. So, this morning Duty self-exposed himself on his own stream. All right? He basically said the following, but I need to confirm with chat this is true. Did Duty this morning admit that he is a trust fund baby that he basically is rich for the rest of his life that his father, I guess, passed away and handed him over like a business, but he didn't want to run or couldn't run the business. So I guess he either sold it off or closed it. But basically, he's basically like rich. Did he say that on his stream this morning or not? That's what I need to confirm. Fed Rogers says, yes, I can confirm that. I heard that. Now, here's the part I'm literally afraid of because on YouTube, you're not allowed to discuss this topic. All right. But I'm going to be as gentle touching as i can on this topic okay so understand this is me asking you guys 
did duty this morning or did he not say publicly that he is autistic I want to know the answer, the truthful answer on this, before I say a word about it. I don't want to be saying something that's not true. He never said that that's not true. Okay, that's what I needed to, to confirm, you see, because I get all this information, and when I get this information, it's like I'm not going to pass it along as fact. That's why I needed to ask the question. A lot of people say they maybe suspect he is, but he never admitted it, because someone outright told me that this morning he admitted that publicly. Now, I'm not going to say that he did because I don't know that he did, right? Now, some people are saying, yes, he did say that. I'll find the clip, all right? First of all, the whole idea of he's a trust fund baby, he's rich. That, for one reason, that already kind of explains stuff, okay? People are saying, wait until I see the clip, but there's no clip. His stream was just live. I don't even know if he's still live now, so I can't get a clip. It's a fucking giant stream. You can't skim through the stream to find if and when he said something. You know what I'm saying? Like, someone would have to clip it later. But if, first of all, if he's a trust fund baby, right, if, for, for whatever reason, I mean, that makes sense. This guy literally lives with no repercussions for anything he does. He's rich. But, but no, the reason that I'm bringing this, these topics up is it all makes sense. People are, people are saying stuff like in the, in the past, he's wished you physical harm. He said that, that my mom, would he wished she would have fallen down the stairs so that she wouldn't have given birth to me. Wow. That's great stuff to say, isn't it? That's really nice stuff to say. Right? That they're okay with that. Oh, this is great. Yes, keep saying awful things. Keep doing awful things. We love it. What is wrong and unscrewed about his fucking audience? Right? That's insane. And this is all allowed on YouTube, apparently. It's all fine. This is okay to systematically harass someone, to bully someone, to insult someone, to try to destroy their business, destroy their life, steal their content, break the law. According to YouTube, this is good. We'll monetize it. You've been partnered. It's YouTube's fault. Have I ever hurt anyone with the shit that I've done? Besides, like, myself? I admit, early on in my days, I did bad commentary where I would say shit like, oh, you're an idiot if you play Minecraft and stuff like that, right? But I learned and I changed, right? And I, I've grown up and I've, you know, evolved from who I am to someone to be better. I don't want to make terrible content that's harmful to people, you understand? Like, he doesn't even, I, there's like not a shred of morality. And that's what I'm saying. Like, if he has fixated on me, I'm his hyper focus, that's dangerous and scary. That's not, it's not funny. It's not, I'm not making fun of the man at this point at all. I'm just saying this is actual legit scary shit because if this guy really is unhinged and he's coming after me like uh, so, uh, someone needs to get involved here a medical authority you know some authority that this guy this is what he's doing and he's just un unchecked no one taking taking a look at this to make sure that this is all okay right just let him keep doing what he's doing let him keep breaking the law because this is the problem with the internet as well is that when you give an inch they take a mile when people test the boundaries and say, well, this is okay, I got away with this, let's go to the next level. Well, I got away with that too, let's go to the next level, and the next level, and the next level. And that's scary shit, all right? That's what I'm afraid of right now, okay? So, again, I don't know, no one's giving me evidence of anything that was said on his show, but apparently, from what I was told, he self-exposed himself saying all this kind of shit publicly, <clears throat> okay? So he says all of it. As like a cope you know because basically what's happened is in the last week i turned the camera on him and he's looking out at the internet and like oh crap now everyone's looking at me in a negative way well let's have a cope session where i just fess up to all my private shit and now everyone should like me right like that's what he was looking to do but what he did it's the opposite effect it literally is the opposite effect so by the way if he tries to say phil said that he accuses me of being autistic i never said that at all i'm telling you what i'm li literally factually telling you all right what people are saying to me and i don't know if it's true or not so i'm just presenting it as a what if because that's how it was presented to me false wrong incorrect negative no so apparently he had this big cope session on his stream this morning all right now you would think if that's if this is this big cope session i'm going to open up to my audience and say all this personal stuff about myself to try to get sympathy or whatever that's great then he immediately went back to basically doing awful things towards me again. Uh, he was saying things like, oh, you see, here's all the things. Here's the checklist. Here's my PowerPoint checklist of bad things about Phil. He said he had a 10-year plan, and that was five years ago. 
and the 10 year plan hasn't happened yet. He said he was going to save money for a honeymoon and that hasn't happened yet. Look, he didn't pay for a blood test for his cat Jasper. So you just have to listen to this shit. And it's like, what? <clears throat> what? What is this? There's, what is this content? You opened up to your audience in a personal way. And instead of using that opportunity to explain who you are or have a meaningful moment, you went right back to your shtick of hating DSP and saying all this awful personal shit about him. And the funny part about it is it's never, oh, his content is bad or anything. It's always personal attacks, actual personal attacks on me, constant over and over. And it's the same ones because the funny part is the attacks he's making have no merit. Ten year plan. The 10 year plan is a reference to something that I spoke with my mother about when I visited her in 2019 and I was married in Connecticut in her home. And the plan was that within 10 years, I was going to try to spin out of being a YouTuber and do something more offline in the physical world because I was getting harassed so much by my detractors. But then COVID hit the next year and all the jobs went away that I would have done. I was like, my God, thank God I didn't get on a 10 year plan and jump off YouTube because I would be unemployed right now and I would have lost everything. Because as you know, guys, just so you know, because the economy is down and inflation is up, no one is supporting streamers right now. There absolutely are not any streamers right now who are streaming who are getting insane amounts of contributions from dummies. You know, none of that's happening. No, didn't you know there's a giant streamer crash right now? Did you hear about it? It's all over the news. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, so anyway, he went on this giant explosive tirade with an audience. Of course, he had just done this personal stream so now his views go up right so now his views he has like tons of viewers on his stream so all of a sudden as all this is happening and he's basically ra ragging on me for personal shit and he's really feeling himself Keemstar says he wants to join a show i don't know how that came about i wasn't paying attention i was having my breakfast in the kitchen okay basically keemstar says to him listen you are breaking the law it doesn't even matter like what you think you're breaking the law your channel has a ton of unedited clips that are extensively long, 30 minute clips, 20 minute clips. These are not allowed via YouTube's terms of service nor by copyright law, all right? You are actually stealing content and re-uploading it as your own and you're getting tens of thousands of views and making money on it. That is a violation of the YouTube partner program. That's a violation of YouTube's terms of service and that's a violation of US copyright law. You have to stop doing it, okay? So these guys went back and forth for like a half an hour about it and here's what happened. Duty actually said the following. I have a clip of Dark Side Phil giving me permission that I can do whatever I want with this content because I have permission to do it and that's why I do it. So that's why it's okay. And then Keem's like, well, well, let me see the clip or whatever. And basically Keem said to him, so if Phil says to you now that's changing, you can't do that anymore, would you keep doing it? And he said, no, I will not do it. If Dark Side Phil admits publicly, all right, that, you know, I will not, you know, that I will not do that anymore if he says that i can't do that i won't do it so i literally and i started talking and get this number one just listen to this his chat room is all moderators his entire fucking chat room is moderators all wrenches they're called wrenches on youtube they're blue wrench accounts okay literally every single one so i type hey guys this is really dsp and i'll i'll talk i, I want i'll i'll you know i'm being asked to respond i'll respond i immediately got timed out Immediately. That's all I said. I said, hey guys, I'm here to respond. They tie me out. What the <laughs> you got the guy who's running the stream with Keemstar saying, let's get, you know, let's get Phil's opinion on this. Let's hear. And then his mods immediately tie me out. So I couldn't talk. It never, it like never expired. It was like an endless timeout. They tie me out like permanently or like for all day or something. I don't know. So I could never talk. So literally he created an echo chamber. He actually created a room where only his moderators are talking and him talking to Keemstar directly. And that was it. You don't have the legal right to have unedited clips on your channel. You have to stop doing it. And then Duty would say, well, DSP gave me the permission to do it. And therefore, you're, what you're saying ha is invalid. Okay. And then what, how Keem said, he says, well, I think if this is the case, I think we need to have YouTube review your channel. Because this sounds to me like you are just blatantly violating the partnership program. And you don't care, right? You don't care that you're doing it. So I think we need to have YouTube review your channel. And so they all went in a circle like this. And it was like that for half an hour. And finally said, we're getting nowhere with this. I'm out of here. And Keem left. And that's where we ended it. And then I, again, I tried to join the chat and say, hey, I, I couldn't talk. I was like, well, fuck it. I'm just going to go live on my stream. All right. So here I am live on my stream. And I'm going to give my take on all of this.
yesterday in my stream and in the clip that I released last night. In fact, let me go to my YouTube channel right now. Hey, duty, do you have eyes and fucking ears? Do you see this video that I released five hours ago? Duty breaks the law but can't take criticism, and here's the proof. And it's me showing the unedited clip of me on your channel and calling you out for it and saying this is not allowed under U.S. copyright law. So... Isn't that an example of me telling you to stop doing this? There's a whole fucking video about it right here. Didn't you watch my podcast from yesterday? Right down here. We're in that. I went into even more detail about how all of your videos and arguments are invalid. You're criticizing me for becoming a, a uh, you know, an ex-pro Twitter pro user, even though I'm using it for the benefits of Twitter. Now I don't have to see ads on Twitter. I can use it for my business. So it makes no sense what you're saying. Again, you're in this mindset that because I said something before, it's ultimate and can never change. You have this really like simpleton's mindset on things. And remember also in that clip, when I talked about uh, your other videos about me and how you do 16 videos a day, like I literally, if you watch the stuff, that that's, uh, I already did this. So he's saying, Phil needs to say that I don't have permission to do this. So you're asking for something that already exists. You're just lazy, okay? You're lazy. You want to sit there in your echo chamber of moderators and really weird people who watch your shit, making harmful, toxic, really insulting, and pretty much illegal content on a daily basis. And when people call you out for it, you ignore it. You ignored that I told you you cannot do this. Officially, allow me to tell you, no, from now on, you're not allowed to clip my content outside of the context of fair use law. But here's the thing. I didn't need to tell you that. Just because DSP says to you, oh, you can clip my con I can clip my content, go for it. That doesn't mean that you are immune to the law or YouTube's terms of service. You, whatever clip you're using, I didn't mean, oh, yes, you can endlessly do whatever you want with my content, you know, illegally. Duh. But again, I think what the problem is, is people like him don't have common sense. You are running a fucking nut house. Do you understand? It's a clown show. It's a room with a bunch of clowns bouncing off the walls. That's what you have. You don't have a stream. You don't have content. You have harmful, dangerous, toxic things happening on your channel. And quite frankly, professionals need to interject. It's not me that can stop you. It's not Keemstar that can stop you. Professionals now need to start looking at your channel and saying, what is going on here? Like, realistically, should this even be allowed? Because it's to the realm of borderline, like, like dangerous. The obsession, the mania you have, you're breaking the law, but you're trying to justify breaking the law saying Phil gave me permission to break the law. What are you talking about? What, no one with a, a brain that functions in a logical manner would ever say or do those things. Do you understand? What you're saying is crazy. And like I said, there's no, I, I almost feel like this morning when he, when he opened up and he started saying personal stuff about himself, this was his like, well, I'm doing this because I want you guys to feel you know, like, you know, I'm opening up to you. And this is my cope for everything that I do. So now you got to feel good about it and feel good for me or feel bad for me or whatever it is. Like you could tell he was trying to elicit emotion out of his audience or why else would he have done that? Right? <clears throat> And the reason that I read that to you guys is because I want I just want you guys to understand that that means the world to me when I get a message like that. Your your actions are actually harmful now. This is not a joke. This is not, oh, I'm razzing Phil to make money. This is harmful, dangerous, illegal content that you're making. I don't I can't believe that someone would obsess over someone the way you do. 16 videos about me within three days, all of which are actual libelous bullshit. That's pretty bad. I could see, oh, let's razz this guy once a day, twice a day. Dude, 16 times in three days. That's pretty extreme. And like I said, any professional is going to say, wow, okay, we need to start helping you right now. You know, I think what it is, again, he's been insulated from anything, any kind of criticism, because he's got a chat of all wrenches who no one says, dude, you're going too far. He's got people telling him everything he does is great. He's rich, so he doesn't have any repercussions for what he does. He could just do whatever he wants. You know, wow. What a life. Imagine that. Having no repercussions for anything you ever do. Sheesh. I mean, maybe that's how he ended up this way. It probably is how he ended up this way. If you have no one checking you on anything in your life, you're probably going to end up acting like that, right? So, yeah. So that's my recommendations. But as of today, I'm done with it. I'm not touching it with a 10-foot pole. I don't want to hear about duty. I don't want to smell the duty. I don't want to play with the duty. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the king's decree. As of the 26th of August, 2024, DSP, the king, is flushing the duty. It's been flushed, it's gone, and I'm done with it. He could, 
do whatever he wants. I can't stop him, but I'm not involved anymore. I can't be in this drama sphere every fucking day. I, I, I have content to put out for my audience. I have things to do. I can't sweat, waste time on this man. I can't. I, I can't believe. And by the way, here's the sad fact about this Pandora's box. This was the first of my detractors that I have addressed. This was only the first one. And within less than a week, he's been completely exposed. He's been completely destroyed, completely felted. And he's got other people now looking at his channel and content. Not me. So, perhaps, seeing how things are going, a few other people should be possibly self-analyzing themselves as well.